Hi everybody, it's Susan from Sunrise Quilt Studio and today I am quilting on the Vintage Quilt Block Quilt and this first video I'm going to show you how I'm doing the inner border as well as doing the butterfly block. So I hope you'll stay with me and I hope you enjoy. So my little hook and then I'm going to do my little petals and then I'm going to do another hook. So this one's going this way, so I want that one to go this way. So we're going to go like this. So it's down instead of up. This is going to go up. And this is going to go down. I'm getting ready to get started on the first block in this quilt and it's the butterfly block and there's all different kinds of things you can do you know you can just do a panto over this whole quilt there's no reason why you can't so I think I'm going to be doing some diagonal lines in here for the wings and um, and for the body of the quilt of the butterfly so I'm just going to start near the middle. Now in the middle we've got all of these seams coming together. So it's going to be a little bit of a challenge. But I'm going to go ahead. Oops. I forgot I was in automatic. So let's go ahead. Do a line and then come out. About to the halfway point. It doesn't have to be measured. And then once again, come on out. And I'm going to go over it. I'm going to hit right at that seam. Just stitch in the ditch there. And just go over an inch, about an inch and a half, I think is what that is. And go over some more. I need to get over to the seam again and stitch in the ditch and go over about a quarter of an inch and come back. And 
Okay, I'm going to stop here. I'm going to go ahead and cut my thread. I want to see if I'm getting the look I'm looking for. Yeah, it looks like I am. Um, the challenge is all of these seams coming t together. Um, quilting on this side didn't nail those down, so hopefully it will do this over here. But I want to get um, into here. So I'm going to... I'm going to go ahead and stitch in the ditch between these two. I'm going to start up at this end. in the ditch between here, come back around and stitch in the ditch there. Okay, and then I'm going to come over here and do this one. So I have one, two, three lines of stitching. This one is just about a quarter of an inch away. So. This is not exactly the same as that one, but that I think that's okay. I'm not going to worry about that. And this one. I have one, two, three, four lines. come back and stitch in the ditch right here. I'll try to. <laughs> I need to remove a couple stitches there. Okay, so from side to side it's not completely the same, but this is freehand and I think to correct that I'm just going to uh, sew a little, little bit right here and that will help that out a little bit. Okay, that looks better. All right. So the butterfly block, the piecing is done, and then I can do stuff in the background. Get rid of some of my loose threads here. So what I want to do is I do want to stitch in the ditch around this because you can see how this is all kind of puffed up. So I'm going to nail all of that down. Now I won't be doing this for every block. It's just this block is got a lot of background in it. And it works almost like an applique block.
There we go. Okay, now it's time for the background.
Okay, well that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, the next video I'll show you a couple more of the blocks and I'll just keep videotaping as I work through this quilt. It'll probably take me a while to get through the entire quilt, but I'll film all of that and show you how I'm quilting each one of the blocks. So if you like this video, please click the like button and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and click that notification bell so you'll be notified when the next video comes up. And in the meantime, I hope you are all staying safe and healthy and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. For more quilting ideas, click on the video links. And to keep up with my latest projects, click on the subscribe button. I hope to see you again soon.